I'm going to show you what could potentially be my future $33 million main portfolio. <laughs> Is it sound interesting? Drop that like, give me subscribe. I've been looking hard, hard across the entire blockchain trying to find meme coins that could hook me up for greatness in the future. And memes are so damn high risk. So I had to go down the rabbit hole and through the looking glass to build a meme portfolio, which one way I don't have to spend extreme crazy amounts of money, but coins that I could put a little bit of money in that could move has great potential. The narratives are strong behind these memes. Did I say, if it, is it sound interesting to drop that like? Not financial advice. And I'm talking about the type of memes where, because you got, you got risk, high risk, extreme high risk, then you just got biohazard. <laughs> you know, when you flip and click on radium to buy it and it just falls to zero immediately. Biohazard coin. <laughs> uh, so far, it hasn't happened to me. Thank you, universe. Um, but these are the type of coins that I've been looking for. Why? Because when it comes to memes, and you know, I've been showing you guys this, you have to get in incredibly early, and that's what I've learned with meme coins. Now, when you invest in gaming coins and AI coins, it's cool to buy like a $100 million market cap. It's, it's okay to buy a two to $500 million market cap because in the long term, I, I believe that they have long growth, that they can last long enough to reach these market caps for AI and gaming. But with memes, there holds a level of incredible risk, which means that when you play with these, you have to accept that you're playing with fire and you have to accept that we could get burnt at any time and prices could fall to zero at any time. It's very rare and hard to find ones that can actually take off and succeed, which is why I've been looking for these commercial types like your DiCaprio's, like your, you know, something that's got a funny feel to it, the black cocky news, like your success kids, all of that, right? So I'm going to take you through my future potential $33 million meme portfolio. If you've been in the channel or watching, you kind of know some, uh, all of these. You, you would, you know them all. But um, there's a diverse amount. And I'm going to show you why I think they have mass potential. First one right here, bomb, is DiCaprio, right? And I shared this a few days ago. You're still all incredibly early. This is still within the Goldilocks zone. Let's take a quick look at this. It's on its way. And shout out to everyone that got in early on this. Uh, I think the circulating supply might be updated soon uh, with the metadata as it does it. $2.5 million market cap. This actually went up to like $4 million. Well, down here it says fully diluted. What? <laughs> 5.7 million, it's on its way. It really is on its way. Uh, I've been drawing charts and all sorts, trying to understand what are we looking at? Are we seeing an, an ascending triangle? And if it breaks out, is it on its way to the moon? Because this was the ascending, ascending triangle that I drew, which technically speaking, if this plays out, you know, look at this real quick. I'm going to show you loads of different things when it comes to memes, right? Some chart analysis and all sorts. Bounce it on top. Technically speaking, this was the breakout. In the future, we should probably see prices come right up here, literally, guys, up to, this is saying almost two cents. I just draw a little line across. 0 0.017, almost two cents. If that happens, you're talking an extra 10x from where it is right now. It's not even a joke. It's insane. Is it? Actually, let me have a look. No, no, because we've already, no. So, because look at 005. A 10x would be five cents. So, you're talking almost three to four X, and I think it can get up there to these prices, you know, zero one seven zero two cents. But there's still more longevity towards this. You know, if something like uh, this reaches a dollar, and if you guys want to buy these coins, I'm going to show you, you're welcome to, but again, extreme high risk, you're playing with fire, but you can afford to lose. I'm just trying to show you what I think I have uh, as a $33 million uh, portfolio in the future, yeah? If you want to buy them, links are in the info section. Uh, or I'm just showing you on this video, you can literally come onto DiCaprio, click the buy button. Apparently they did a liquidity burn now, which is good. And obviously you can come over here and you can buy some of these tokens right here on this chain, right? Uh, Radium, you have to have Phantom Wallet, which you can, you know, go to Phantom Wallet, install it, and then you can buy some uh, with Solana or whatever you want to have. Um, but yeah, they've they done a liquidity burn, which was big for this project because many people were unsure, you know, on the liquidity. It wasn't locked and things like that. It's now been locked. No, it's been burnt. It can't be rugged, which is a good look.
So that 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 is going to definitely push the project. I heard that there's going to be a centralized exchange listing as well, or a couple which could really drive this price like crazy. Look, no buy or sell tax, no bullshit. Just keep it simple. LP tokens burnt, you best believe. Cheers. It kind of went with it at the same time. So yeah, this is my first go-to. And the reason I... St uh, look at it. Just look at the market cap. 2.56 million. 10x, 25 million. 100x, 250 million. 1,000x! 2.5 billion! This can sit up there. I, I said it before and I keep saying it again. I'm looking for the most catchiest memes that are already being used in the world where when people look at it, they go, rah, I know this. It's been plastered all over the space. I love it. Now, I'm not going to find all of them like this because they're incredibly hard to find. These are, where am I flipping now? <laughs> flipping, these are gems, hidden gems. <laughs> <laughs> Give me because you know <laughs> you've been a <laughs> these are gems you know like when you get on your camel and you travel to Agrabah you go through that desert and you see Jafar standing there with his parrot and he says to you <laughs> bring me the lamp the rest is yours but the lamp is mine <laughs> and you go in that lamp I mean I mean <laughs> And you go in that cave of wonders. <laughs> Are you still here? And you touch nothing but the lamp. You rub that lamp. Just rub the lamp. <laughs> That's my flipping hand. You rub it, man. Just. Oops. <laughs> and tell you what. <laughs> the genie's gonna pop out. DiCaprio is the genie and he's going to hook you up with free wish, uh, wishes. I just broke my damn lamp for you. That's entertainment purposes only. Yeah. <laughs> Go get one on eBay. So <laughs> I can't help it. Yeah, this is a gem and it's not easy to find these types of memes anywhere because a lot of times you're getting made up names. This with that, this with this and this with that and, da -da -da and blah, blah. Always made up names, which... They sound great, and some of them do go on to do really well. So that's my first coin. <coughs> Next one. Let me just catch my breath, please. <laughs> Are you still here, drop the like. Success Kid, again, another traditional hyper-used, again, hyper-used meme coin with massive potential in the real world. That's what this is. Let me just go on. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, my dear. <laughs> I mean, because I, I wanted to see more pictures. Again, something that's so worldly wide used, right? And because they're so new, they are extremely volatile to begin with at the start. So you're not going to see it just pumped to the moon like crazy, 100 billion, 400 billion. I mean, it can do. <laughs> if it does, great. But you have to expect volatility with these coins. And that's what I do. I expect volatility with these coins. So yeah, Success Kid is my next go-to. Uh, and it's been doing all right so far. I had a massive ride up and a little pullback now. Um, five, it says fully diluted $5 million. So 10x, 57 million, because you know, you take this like this and you just shimmy it a decimal forward, right? Or back. And then 100x is 570 million dollar market cap. We've seen memes in the last cycle go to three to four billion. It's not a joke. All sorts as well. So for me, I'm trying to position myself in a, a position where if I'm going to be investing in these biohazard, high risk memes, I need to make sure that I'm getting in the hottest, flipping best sort of like th th just ones that are so damn known when people hear about it, they go, oh, I know that. Let me buy some because it might go up. That's what I'm trying to think. And this is how you got to think when you invest in memes. You got to think to yourself, there's new investors coming into this space. What are they most likely to gravitate to and relate to? Are they likely to relate to Bob? I mean, it looks cool. We've heard of it. Are they likely to relate to Myro? Maybe, because he's a doggy. Or are they likely to relate to something like your DiCaprio, because they've seen it loads of times, Success Kid, because they've seen it loads of times. 
This is what I think about. What what can they relate to? Because I want to. I I basically put my money where I think the future people coming into the crypto space will put their money, and that's how you have to be. Adoption, success, success kid. Uh, just uh, projects that become successful are the ones where people look at projects that have great foundation, great adoption for the future. Cardano become a big chain because uh, people could just, just liked the growth of it. They, they understand that this, this additional layer chain can compete against your Ethereum and still bring, uh, bring great depths and everything else, right? And then they also thought, well, many people might buy this in the future. I better buy it now, right? So I kind of do the same thing with the memes. And I think you have to, you have to start thinking, what's other people gonna buy into? You have to understand people's mindset, right? I wouldn't wear that skirt though. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, this is this. I think it still has 100x potential minimum at the, from the market cats we're caught, you know, you're looking at now. We got in these incredibly early. If you're a patron, you saw that. And if you don't wanna miss it, become a patron, links in the info section real quick. Let me just show you. You come over, you know, and I've tried to make it as simple as I can. When you get here, you can click on the collections tab you know, trying to sort it out nice and easy for you. You can see loads of different things. So if I buy something and, you know, you want to make it easy for you to see, nice and organized, you got the buy alerts tab right there in the collections tab, right? VIP lounge. You come over, you check it out. Let's go on to the next one, right? So yeah, success kid. This one here, black cocky. <laughs> Again, I'm trying to position myself. If I'm going to go with these memes that do not have huge world adoption already like your success uh, success kid like your DiCaprio if it doesn't have world adoption like this already I need to go for something that's going to make people laugh and make people happy and feel good and understand the 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 dark sense of humor on this right or the the funny sense of humor on this and <laughs> flash a beacock this has got it and I remember when I first saw it I was laughing so hard that I had to buy it, it just made me buy because I <laughs> The pixelated Ross, you should have put it down right down here. Like, yeah, you, whoever's watching this, founders, if you're watching this, please, this pixelated stuff, bring it right down here. <laughs> uh, you know what I mean? Just, <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. okay. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> have to go something that's got humor that's gonna make people laugh and this has got it what's it sitting on right now fully diluted it doesn't show the actual market cap i've just been going with fully dilutions because it could be less right it could be less should i just grab it up real quick on thingy let's have a quick look at this real quick let me grab it on dex tools and have a quick look yeah i want to see how much the dilution is different compared to what it is at the minute because it says eight. Okay, so it's all token circulating eight million market cap. 10x is an 82 million market cap. 100x is 825 million, just shy of a billion. I still see 100x potential. You know, if I was to invest $10,000 into something like your Beacock, 100x, 10x goes to uh, 100,000, 100x goes to a million right? So that's an easy million dollars for me. But what if it went more than a billion dollars? What if it went to $3 billion because of the, just the hype and the, the insanity when meme coins really take off, right? Keep going and going and going. Um, then you're looking at $3 million profit. Should I invest something like a 10,000? And again, I'm told, when you get in on these low caps, they are, they're going to be biohazard. They're going to be at that point where people are unsure. They don't know because of this and the liquidity and this and that. And, oh, I don't know because of this, the holders and blah, blah, blah. It's going to be like that. It really is. But this is where you have to say to yourself, where are you buying your coins? How much risk are you willing to put in these coins? Because I'll tell you what, Patreons, and I saw it all over my Patreon account. When, Patre when I dropped the buy alert, and it probably was just about here, because Patreons were getting in on this days before me. I know you were, because I saw many of you going, oh, I bought this before you. We were looking, I know, but I bought it before you. And I was like, shout out, big up to you guys. Because they were in the VIP group, looking at it in the VIP group. And then people go, look, I think this is what he's on about. We found it, look, this is it. I'm, I'm grabbing some. So this must have been them buying all up here, right? And then I saw it, guys, I'm buying this now, because this looks like it's the one. And you only have, at this point, you only have to put something like $25, just like what that Pepe guy did, you only have to put something like $25. So yeah, we got these biohazard warnings for these mega micro cap coins. But 20, if I lose $25, shh, it sucks. 
I can't buy Chinese later. <laughs> That's what it is, right? You can't buy Chinese later. <laughs> can't buy my egg fried rice, my black bean sauce, my vegetable spring rolls, you know, my flipping <laughs> noodles, whatever it is. But if it goes, you make absolute life changing gains. It's not a joke. And this is why I'm looking for these low micro biohazard. <laughs> Ain't that Resident Evil? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think of that, that, that circle. It's like a yellow circle with like the triangle things in the middle, three triangles like this. <laughs> biohazard. <laughs> that's, what the symbol, that's what the symbol looks like. That's what these are, because I'm playing with fire and I know I am. So if I lose, I can't be upset with anyone. I can't be upset with, I can't. I gotta just accept that I've lost what I put in. But so far, I've been calling these like a boss. And I have Book of Pepe as well. Where's Book of Pepe? I should put that up there as well. Because that had fallen in loads in price. And this is the, and again, that's my, and, I, and, and I'm down a lot. In, well, I'm not down in it. I took, patrons you saw, I'll take profit on that. But from what I had on, uh, what you call it? I haven't even got it up. Book of Pepe. I'm down massively on that. But I gave away loads as well because there was no way I could just like keep it to myself. I wanted to give back. Uh, is it B-O-P-P? Book of Pepe. It's not even coming up in there, but it's Book of Pepe. And that still has potential to come back. So actually that should be added in this as well. Can I grab up B-O-P-P? Because that's another coin, which is my biohazard <laughs> that I still think can come to life again. When you see Book of Me move, you're going to see this move. Is it this one here? It was one of these. I can't remember which one it was. It's one of these. Too many of them, see? It's, it's one of these. But yeah, you guys know. If you're watching the channel, you know. That Book of Pepe is another one of my, this one right here has mad potential to move, right? The, the, the devs and the stuff has been silent. I don't know if they gave up on the project, whatever it is, but who cares? Because with a meme coin, you don't need devs. It's community driven. And that's what I've learned, community driven. So if, there's an, if you're seeing Book of Pepe at a low price right now, could be an incredible opportunity to buy. That is not financial advice. Can't tell you what to do. I'm just showing you, you, my $33 million future portfolio for meme coins. It's what I go for. Your black cock in use, right? Like I said, the sitting at eight million dollars, you can do that. I think it's got hundred x potential. Cock in you, the original, right? So you got this one here. <laughs> the names I know. This one's a bit higher now in market cap. So uh, I've been buying this at its lowest. It, it fell down dramatically over the last few months. Let me just come back on the year. I don't know where did it fall down. Uh, maybe in the last few months. Okay, it did fall massively dramatically then. Uh, but we've been buying this. And it had given me a nice position in this. And I think like something like this can go to the multiple billions of dollars. Well, if it does the $3 billion, it's a 10X, you know? And I can't remember how much I have in this, but I know, it, again, these are the kind of uh, memes that could go to your 10, $20 million, a billion dollars maybe, because of the hype, because you've got people like Cryptos or Us, other big other YouTubers talking about this as well. And that's the other thing. The other YouTubers are going to uh, drive these projects. It's the influence that they have, showing their people, because it's all community driven, showing their viewers and everything else. And then all the viewers are going to decide what they want to do. And if they, this is how you catch these memes, right? But again, I'll, I'll bring you straight back to this. Where's your favorite YouTubers showing you your meme coins? Because when it comes to memes, if you're now looking at buying dog with hat, if you want the 5X, cool. If you want 100X, 1000X, that's when you come to DiCaprio. Because right now, DiCaprio is about three to four million. Should it do a 10X, 30 something million, some, 100X, 300 million, 1000X, 3 billion. And it sits, it sits right up here. <coughs> Still underneath Doge and Shiba, by the way. I'm just saying, right? And this is, what we're, this is what I'm looking to do. I'm looking to ride DiCaprio all the way to the flipping moon. I'm telling you now, just keep it straight. Same with these other ones. Hook me up for greatness, you best believe. Let's have a look and see what else I've got here. Now, a lot of these have been on different chains. I've shown you Solana chain. I've shown you AVAX. The Ethereum chain has been quite quiet recently. People don't want to spend the gas fees. But I like to believe in the future... It's not going to be that way forever. Why? Because Ethereum's constantly updating. And on top of that, you're able to buy Ethereum type memes on other chains, right? You're able to, sorry, on, not on other chains. Um, well, sometimes you can. It's, they, they do like a thing where you can do both, right? You're able to buy Ethereum uh, memes on other de decentralized exchanges like your Mexi, 
your Ku coins, that sort of thing. So that could hold strong for Ethereum uh, type of memes because when people want it, they go over to the exchange and they buy it. They don't have to worry about an insane fee. Uh, people that get hit with the insane fee are the people that are using Uniswap, right? So I would, if it comes to memes on the thingy chain like this, you got crazy over here, which I'm very hyper bullish on still. The only thing that's going to hold this back at the minute is the Ethereum chain, and it's only being able to be bought on Uniswap, right? This is your crazy frog right here. Only way to buy it right now is on Uniswap. I would love to see one of two things for Ethereum projects going forward, right? One, you get yourself fast on exchanges where people can buy it easily without getting hit with a fee. That would that will fl make your projects absolutely fly. And that's, that's how Pepe set itself up for greatness because Pepe is an Ethereum meme. Shib, Ethereum meme. All of these Ethereum memes. And the reason they've set themselves up for greatness is because you can buy them on any exchange. So I would like to see Crazy Frog and all these other Ethereum memes get put on uh, a bunch of different exchanges for people to be able to buy easy. And then you will see these Ethereum memes explode still. Do not underestimate them. Please do not. The other option is they could migrate over to another chain like a Solana if they wanted to. And if they did that, they do the migration progress and then they airdrop all the holders the exact same amount so they haven't lost anything and now they're on a Solana chain. That's what can happen. So don't outrule these projects. I'm still hyper bullish on uh, Crazy. I think it's going to do really well. Everybody knows this face. Again, I'm trying to show you catchy kind of memes that have been around for a long while. Everybody knows Crazy Frog. You probably grew up with Crazy Frog. I'm not even going to do He's a ding, 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 ding. <laughs> I've already done it. So yeah, uh, this one. Let's have a quick look. What's the market cap sitting on? What? It's saying 800k cap. That can't be right. That's so flipping tiny. That is still biohazard flipping. <laughs> Let me quickly check this. Where's my Dex tools? Is this still biohazard? Let me quickly... <laughs> Anything under a million, I just call it biohazard now, man. Is, is this a biohazard? This is a biohazard meme coin. <laughs> 800k cap. You're going to be playing with fire. But it could absolutely blow and make you money. But you have to take that hit with the, with the fee on the Ethereum. So, again, not financial advice. I've told you what I would like to see for these Ethereum coins going forward. Uh, the fees are going to hold these projects back which is why you're seeing so much love over on Solana which is why I still again think that something like a DiCaprio is going to absolutely dominate because it set it's, uh, itself up so damn good in such a good position to just dominate this entire crypto space like an absolute boss and success kid and all these other ones that are on the flipping Solana chain so yeah that's how I feel about that Still holding it like a boss. We'll see what happens. Next coin I have is Wolf. Lamb Wolf on AVAX. I think uh, AVAX meme coins can equally have a good share of this market as well. And look at this, guys, real quick. <laughs> you have $64 billion in meme coins. That's insane. There's some serious money in meme coins. You know, I knew there was a lot of YouTubers that I, I know <laughs> that said they won't touch memes. I'm not talking about memes. Too high risk, pump and dumps, blah, blah, blahs. I'm not talking about them. Now they're showing on their flipping videos and live streams their top five meme coins. <laughs> Why are they doing this? Because they need to get with the trend. Because they know that they're missing out on 64 flipping billion dollars of money in this space. If you want to become a good YouTuber, and this, uh, uh, look, I'm, I can't tell people how to YouTube. I can only go from my experience, right? And if there's any influencers watching me now, I just got to keep this straight up real, especially if you're a crypto YouTuber. If you want to become a successful YouTuber, you have to get with the flipping trend. It's that simple. You don't have to like memes. A lot of the times I don't like memes because I don't like that they're so flipping high risk. But the reality is $64 billion you are not talking about if you're not talking about them that is being made from everyone and making massive gains. <sighs> It's that simple. Look, when you look at my, have I got my portfolio up? I haven't got it up. I'm going to have to get it up. Because, you know, I'm, this, when it comes to this meme portfolio, these aren't my 
best holdings. Oh my God, I'm holding them because I feel like it's going to be around for 15 years. Nah, I've got my gaming projects. I've got my AI. I've got my layer ones. I've got my layer twos. I've got my deep ins. I've got my DeFi, my, my decentralized social media projects. I've got all of that. I've got my watch to earn, my chat to earn. I've got such a decent portfolio that now I can look over here and say, you know what? This trend is hot. YouTubers that understand trends in the markets is on this. They're killing it. I'm killing it. I need to make sure I'm relevant. So to remain relevant, to make sure my audience is seeing what's happening in this crypto space, I'm sharing you projects, whether I like it or not, whether he likes it or not, whether they like it or not, I'm just going to share you the opportunity. And then you can decide what you want to do. Because again, nothing is financial advice. But it's, it's, how can I not show you the opportunity? People won't want to watch you if you're not sharing them the opportunity. And that's what this has always been about, just showing you guys the opportunity in all sorts. I do everything on this channel. A lot of the time I'm reviewing a lot of 100, things that I think can 100x, that's why you come to the channel. You're looking for 100x. If you're looking for 5x, you can watch other YouTubers that show you Bitcoin and Ethereum or whatever the top 10 are. But if you're looking for 100x, this is where you come. You come down the rabbit hole through the looking glass <laughs> you don't talk to that rabbit because he's late for an important date, you best believe. You flipping paint and roses red. <laughs> Painting the roses red. <laughs> it's just what you do. You come down the rabbit hole through the looking glass and you follow that yellow brick road until you make insane gains. Yeah, I know that's flipping Wizard of Oz, but I don't care, I'm changing it up. <laughs> so, what are you laughing for? <laughs> so this is what I'm trying to get at. You're going to see influencers, the, ones, the influencers that want to be relevant and that want to uh, just be diverse in this space, they're going to start sharing main projects, I'll tell you now. And I've seen it, I've seen it with my eyes. Ones that thought they would never ever share it because they don't like them, they're dumped. I'm not sharing this, I'm not Shilla. <laughs> no, you're getting with the trend, that's what it is. And you should not be ashamed for getting with the trend. That's what this, this trend moves fast, man. These coins, the meme hype is going to cool off at some point. You know it. Come on, we all know it's going to cool off. And then what's going to happen next? Drop your comments. What's going to happen next? I know you already said it. Gaming is going to fly. Gaming is going to dominate and fly. And I'm already preparing Patreons for gaming projects. Become a Patreon. Links in the info section. We'll be buying them up. AI coins are going to fly again, but we're buying up the gaming stuff more right now because... It's just going to fly. So, and, and it goes in a continuous trend. But I don't want anyone to miss out on this hot meme trend while it is absolutely on fire right now with your cheers. <laughs> if you have the opportunity to make 100x, 200x, 500x with this, big up to you. Because that's what this has always been about. Trying to show helpful projects that can make people money. Let's move to the next coin. Doge Chain. Hold on a minute. I'll come on to that. Lamb Wolf, what's it sitting on? 32 million market cap. So yeah, you still have moves for this. 10X puts it at, uh, yeah, I've already, did I do this? 10X is 320 million. 100X, 3.2 billion. That's what I'm looking for, 100X. Doge chain. <clears throat> I like this. I like it more than anything. Why? Because it's its own chain. It's not on Solana. It's not on, uh, what's it called? Ethereum. It has its own chain. And on top of that, you might get a situation where people come onto Doge Chain because it's its own chain and start making a fleet of new coins. Now, you saw what happened. We had a Solana rush. The Solana rush caused everyone to go over to Solana and start creating meme coins. What if, I'm just saying, what if people start to see it and they look at Doge Chain and go, right, actually, let's have this rush over to Doge Chain and start tearing it up making memes all over the doge chain space if that happens <laughs> this is gonna absolutely ex you thought solana exploded <laughs> this is gonna flipping moon you're looking at this at a 26k cap 10x is 260 million 100x is 2.6 billion dollars and at that point the fully diluted would probably be about 16 billion i think it can do it I, I think it because it's not just memes that can be created you can create games loads of different dApps that can be built on this doge chain it's been mega silent no one's really paying look zk evm as well cool kiss my teeth you best believe <laughs> now i really think that this is another one look my meme, my main portfolio that i think can potentially net profit me 33 million dollars in the future that's what this is about and if memes fall fine incredibly high risk you got some DeFi, DeFi play over here. We already saw DeFi when it launched. 
Don't underestimate Dogechain, right? Next one, Bonk, of course, which I have. I've already made insane gains with Bonk. If you was watching the channel, you saw that. And I'm just so you're not going to touch much on it. You know, it's already at a billion dollars. It can probably go to 30, 40 billion dollars. That's what I really believe. Uh, and same with this one here. Boom, Pepe. The original Pepe. The original. Not your your cola, your fizzy cola, or your your what do you call it? You know them them fake. No, no, not Pepsi. I like Pepsi. Coca Cola. My original Pepe. This is the one that's gonna uh, fifty to sixty billion dollars, just like your shit in you in the last cycle. This is it. And what I like about this is that everybody that shook, because you do, you get people that shook to buy meme coins. This has such like. It's like a confirmation. It's like a, I feel like it's more safe than any other meme in this space to buy. It's like, oh, cool, you know what? I don't want to take much risk. I'll just put it in Pepe, which can still flip it, make you 20, 30 X. <laughs> so, uh, and it's not often that you come across memes that can make you feel that way. But this makes me feel that way. I feel like if I put a thousand dollars in this, I feel like it's cool. I know I'm going to make money. Okay, I might not make 500,000 X, but I'm going to make 30 X. My thousand dollars goes to $30,000. Or if I want to make a hundred thousand dollars, I just keep stacking up to get to a $3,000 portfolio. And then, you know, that $3,000 portfolio goes to X, whatever X it is. I don't know how much I've got in this. How much do I have in this? Have a quick look at my, de my, my Delta. And if you guys don't have it, yeah, download Delta. So it's one of the best apps to keep track of your portfolio. Where's my Pepe? Because you know, I'll sit like a boss in this. Um, hold on, my, my, my thing's playing. I need to close it and open it again. Because again, like these, I can't, I don't know. Should I recommend you guys to be really considering buying this? I don't know. I feel like the money is going to be made in the Goldilocks zone, but I'm just trying to keep it real to show you what I have in my main portfolio. I've got Wojak as well, which I haven't bought up, right? Wojak as well. Uh, a few of it, you know, this is this is your opportunity here, right here, boom, right? That's your opportunity. But I'm showing you these as well. But Wojak is another one that I have in the meme portfolio that can absolutely dominate because it's a worldwide used meme. Please don't underestimate. I'm gonna add that. I'm gonna quickly add that in as well, actually, before I go. Has to be in the video. Where's my Pepe? Can't even see my damn Pepe. All right, Wojak. Okay, cool. Yeah, I have about. I show you what I've got in this. Is that British pounds? Uh, I got 22,000 sitting in this. Um, how do I do this? USD to GBP. What's 22,000 in British pounds sitting in this? So just to show you, like, keep it real, you know. Oh, hold on, hold on. I got 22,000. I've got about $27,000 sitting in Pepe at the price of the market cap that it is now. So should it do a 10X? It goes to 200 and something thousand dollars. 270 thousand dollars. That'll put this at 35 billion. Should it do a 20X, it goes to like a $70 billion market cap. I don't know. Can it go there? I don't know. But if it did, flip, you know, flip my life. <laughs> that's half a million dollars. So, yeah, that's that. Guys, let me actually know. Before I go, Wojak, real quick. Real quick, I've got to put Wojak in because, again, traditional meme used worldwide has massive potential. You can buy this on exchanges, which makes this powerful for a Ethereum type of project, right? Because you don't have to get hit with the fees. You can come over to these places here. I would like to see this um, get listed on more exchanges if it can call. I don't know how many has it got right now. It's got two pages worth here. What's the next page? Uh, it's on a huge amount of exchanges. You know, you can buy Wojak anywhere. So actually, no, it's doing, it's doing good. For when the meme, if the meme spark goes again, people want to grab Wojak, they just go on an exchange and grab it. Don't have to worry about the fees at all. You see? So this is good. It set itself up in a wicked position, fully diluted, 36 million market cap, times 10, 360 million, 62 million times 100, 3.6 billion. I believe it can go there. This has 100x potential. $1,000 goes to 100K, 10,000 goes to um, uh, a million dollars. I think I've got about 25,000 pounds in this. And, uh, you know, trying to keep it real. I can't remember. I'd, I'll have to get it up and show you. Which one of my, I've got so many flipping wallets, guys. <laughs> Flipping be transparent for you. Yeah, you. Hold on, let me just. I don't know which one it's even going to be sitting in. Is it sitting in this? I don't even know. My Wojak could be anywhere right now. What have I got over here? Is my Wojak here? I can't see. I got too many flipping. Uh, here we go. Yeah, so I got one. I don't even know if this is the full amount. Let me. Is that the full amount? 137. Hold on. 136287. 136287. Let's have a quick look. Three seven six two eight seven. No, that's only showing. That's only showing seven hundred dollars. So where's my other Wojak? 
okay, I'll do this now. While I'm with you, I'll do it because I want to find it. I know I've got more work. I've got too many flipping coins. Too many. Uh, my Wojak here. Oh, my Peppy. Wojak. Three, zero, three, one, three. Can I just. <laughs> Three zero three. What you know? Because I'm be transparent. You know, this is what you want. You want look. You want YouTubers to sh to be real with you. Show you that what they say is true. I'll just keep it real. I'll just show you. I got nothing to hide. Just show you. Keep it real. Three zero three one three three five five. Three zero three one three three five five. Uh, fifteen thousand dollars there. How much else have I got in this? I've got more somewhere. Ugh, spread spread across every flipping wallet. <laughs> I've got about 25,000 in total, I'm sure. So that's that wallet. Flipping too many wallets, best believe. Is there someone in this one? I don't know. Hmm, I don't know, let me quickly. Uh, uh, too many flipping wallets, uh, no. And we're doing it? No, no, we're doing it. <laughs> I just wanna see if I can find it now. Let's have a look. Uh, you've got this one here. What's this? Is that a Wojak over there? I don't know where the rest of my Wojak is, guys. I don't know if it's, it might even be on an exchange, to be honest, because I don't always, you know, I'm diverse, right? I'll have a look. I'll have a look. <laughs> I'll have a look. But even still, that, that amount, of t 303 13355. Is that right? Let me go back to that one. I'm just going to make sure. Because I had about, yeah, that, that's got to be right. I had about, I had, it says here I've got about 25. Let me just check this real quick. Make sure I'm doing this right. Where's my Wojak? Right there. Boom. It says I have 25,000 British pounds, which is about $30,000. So I must have another half sitting somewhere on my one of my wallets. But so I'll find it, right? And then I'll show you. So yeah, guys, that was that. You saw some exclusive stuff. <laughs> was this helpful to you? Drop that like, give me subscribe. Become a Patreon. You know, I'm not trying to call out loads of different influencers because I love every single influencer, what they do, even ones that hate on me. Big up to you guys, cool. If, that, <laughs> if that's what you do best, cool, do that. Um, and shout out to everyone. But I always say like, transparency is important to your, your audience. Obviously like, you don't want, cause you got to remember when we show you, I don't, I don't think they much influencers show you what they have, what they earn and things like that. And they essentially they have a right not to because it's their own personal details. Sort of like, you would never go to someone and say, hey, look at my bank. This is my bank transactions. Look at that. You wouldn't do that. So I get it. But I've been very transparent on my channel from what I do, what I earn. Look at my Patreon. It's very transparent. You can see what I do every month, how much I, I bring in every month. And I challenge other YouTube influencers that have a Patreon account to show people what you're earning. And the reason I say this is because if you want to build a level of trust with your, influ with your, with your viewers, show them what you're earning. Because they, you shouldn't have to hide it. I, I don't care if mine falls to zero. I'm just, it, just, it shows that when you're, when you're doing this, you're giving your audience a level of transparency. And yeah, one thing to say that, oh, I'm doing this and I'm doing that and look at this. Show them, show, show people what you're earning. Be more transparent. Because then I think it will help grow your channel more. So I'm going to leave it here. Thank you for watching. If you, again, if you want to come page on links in the info section, have a great day. Was this an interesting video? <laughs> I think it was to say the least. Um, become a Patreon if you want. Have a good day and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Oh.